What is going on guys, you boys here, bringing us in a Photoshop tutorial, bringing you guys an advertisement designing tutorial where I get this black and white scheme, and how I show you guys how I created my Razor Ouroboros actually uh, advertising with a black and white scheme with a really nice CC. So if you guys didn't know already, freelance design work for advertising uh, is really popular as well. If you guys want to get into it, I would say get into it now, practice it. That's why I'm doing this video for you guys, giving you guys some more exposure out there to do something else different besides whatever you're doing daily. So I want to show you guys how I focus the uh, attention to the I guess the consumer to the product itself how it makes it pop out just a little bit more the colors uh, the black and white looks really really well by the way I'm gonna be doing more of these as well like advertisement kind of things uh, because I want to learn it as well and just get used to it and also teach it as I go as well as that um, so yeah it's really cool maybe you never know if the the product design you do actually gets used and like cool stuff and if you into photography you can edit yourself as well uh, this is actually a photo I took this is the exact photo that is being used the same keyboard and mouse and mouse pad all that cool stuff Razer setup that I've been using right now this is exactly everything I'm using this is the Razer Chroma keyboard plus the Razer Ouroboros mouse and like the Razer what the heck is this thing called Caputo mouse pad so I took this picture out of fun or whatever and random and I just made an advertisement of it it's really fun to do so I want to show you guys how I did it Let's get going. Don't forget 200 likes on this video because it's secret download below. Secret download for you guys. It'll probably be this PSD cough cough. I know it's not secret, but so uh anyways, yes. And you guys killed my last video with a 3D. You guys like both 3D and 2D. I'm really happy I can please both of you guys. And now I hope I can please a lot more of you guys with something different with advertisement designing. So I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get going. We already have the picture right here for us to ready to go. Uh, I'll have this in the description, the picture for you guys to use if you want to use the same exact one you can. What I'm going to do is right click rasterize this because it's rasterized right now. So before I start anything, I want to show you guys this cool thing. You can see on this picture itself, it has a lot of noise on it, which is like these gringy, uh, basically a noise is what you like would say if it has like really gringe, like an old photo or a really low quality photo. You can see, you can see little grunge, little pixels, I guess. I don't know how I would say it, but noise, it's called noise. If you guys have never heard of the filter uh, Topaz Denoise 5, I up uh, like I suggest you should go get it. You can see how like really noisy right here. That's just a, that's the uh, effect term it's called. And if we just put the strength up just a little bit, you can see it slowly goes away. And you can also see how like smooth this gets as well. I don't want to do it too much. I want to kind of keep the realism of the picture, but I just want to get rid of the noise just a little bit. So I think that's good. We'll press OK, and you can see here. Everything's a lot more smoother and it looks a lot better to work with. And you can see, I'm gonna go back one. You can see what it looks like and then go forward one. So yes, I say, please go get that. And now we're done with this. We can get going right away. All right. So of course, this is a black and white scheme advertisement design. So we're gonna obviously have to get rid of the color immediately, which is simple enough. We're gonna go to our half little circle down here, our adjustments layer. And we're just gonna select hue and saturation. And we're gonna lower our saturation down all the way to whatever it can go down to. It's negative 100. So, once we have this, we have the black and white already good to go, uh, but we're missing, of course, the CC, the color, and also keeping the focus on what we're focusing on. Like I did, I did um, the mouse in the focus for the focus for the advertisement, whatever it may be for you guys. Remember, not working on mouses, maybe like, uh, what do you call it, Astros or something gaming related or whatever it may be that you're doing advertisement for. Practice with it and focus on the design. So we're gonna focus on the product itself. Let's get going. We're gonna pen tool out the. Um, the mouse right here. So we're gonna take our pen tool. Simply enough, we're just gonna pen tool it out. And you'll see, not pen tool it out, we're gonna select around it, but we're gonna select the pen tool itself, or we're gonna select the product itself with the pen tool. And you guys know how to use it, it's fairly simple. You know, click once, uh, click and hold and drag to also uh, make, you know, curves like I just did. And also these two points right here, they can be moved freely by holding control, as well as that to make a new anchor spot, just press Alt and click on the anchor right here. Otherwise, if you try to click over here, it'll be a curve. You want to anchor it so it gets straight. And now we click over here. Now it's no longer curved. It's a fairly simple pen tool to use. I've, I've given literally probably like 30 different uh, tutorials on how to use a pen tool in just all my videos because no matter what, if I know if I miss it out, there's gonna be someone out there like, you. I don't know how to use a pen tool, but it's okay. I just gave you like the quickest review ever. But if you guys wanna know, just go to like a, a simple logo tutorial I have on my channel and you'll, you'll find out how to use the pen tool in about three minutes, guaranteed, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna pen tool this out. Now, be as precise as possible. I know I'm going really quickly, but it's for uh, tutorial purposes. Please, just do your best to try and pen tool the best out. Plus, even something like this, it's just, it doesn't have to be the perfect, but uh, the perfect it is, the better it is, I guess, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, as soon as you're done pen tooling out your product, we're gonna right click, make selection, press okay, 
And then once we have this, right now the mouse is selected. We're gonna right click, select inverse, now that everything is selected besides the mouse. Now we're gonna make a new layer, Control Shift N, or just simply just click over here and make a new layer. Uh, name it whatever you wanna name it, I really don't, we're just gonna name it uh, black, cause that's what we're gonna fill it in with. So, we're gonna go here, just change our primary color, our foreground color to black, uh, just like so. And if you guys didn't know, Alt Backspace is the quick selection for the black, uh, your you know quick selection for your black picker color thingy majigger. So if you want to uh, select your found foreground color and quick select it and qu quick paint it with a selected uh, you know spot, just press Alt Backspace and Control Backspace is of course is the uh, background color. So Control D now to deselect, and we're gonna go ahead over here and just change this to overlay. Uh, you can play around with this. I had it on normal, I believe. When I did over here, it was on normal, probably like 30%. So I'm gonna change to 30%. I think this is what it was. You can see what I'm trying to go for right here. I'm trying to make sure the the mouse gets the most attention. Everything's more dulled out, and you see the mouse is more, you know, just out there. But I'm gonna try overlay. Um, we can try overlay. Overlay doesn't look too bad. We can still see what we're doing here. We're isolating the product itself, so it's out there more than you see whatever's around it. Also, if you want, you can also blur. If you wanted to do that as well, so if I want to control click on this really quickly, if I control the, uh, control clicked on this black layer, it'll actually select everything around the, the the mouse again for us because we already did it. And if you want to, just go over here, uh, control J to duplicate. And now that we just duplicated this, it's going to have a little hole for the mouse. And if we just went to filter or yeah, filter blur Gaussian blur, we can also blur whatever's around it as well. So if you want to do that, you can too. But I would just say you know you can just we'll do it just because. Just because it's a little bit different. And we're just lower the opacity just a little bit of the blur. And then we're good. So now we have the product isolated and it's just out there for its own taking. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a little bit of a, a, a good little curve right here. We're gonna apply a little curve. Let's see. Just a simple curve here. Um, of course, if you're working with color, which I wouldn't, I don't, I'm doing black and white right now, but if you're working with any type of color or a different lighting, I have like a lot of lighting over here hitting this part right here. So your curve is going to be not the same, but try and just figure out where you feel like, you know, this is not good. Okay, that's not good. And this kind of like really weird dull color is not good. And, you know, just trying to figure out where just where things need to be. This is too dark. I'm just going to give you like hints of what not to do. So we're going to go ahead and just try and get a nice... Just a nice little curve going. Let's see. Yes, I do like this. All right. So now that we have this, we can actually just simply uh, go to the color now. It's like, like I said, it's really quick. Also, but if you take your time and just do your best, I promise you, you'll start enjoying advertisement designing. Moving on to obviously color, but also focusing. I just want to get the basics down because when I do this, you know, for more tutorials and such, I want to at least have the foreground already done and have a basis for people to go to if they don't know how to, you know, do these certain things. Anyway. You can see now we have this little color here, these little spots of color, which is also the razor's, you know, main color, which is green. They probably have a selected color hashtag, but I'm not really sure what it is. But anyways, it's green. I know it's green, so I'm going to use green. So we're going to make a new layer and we're going to simply use our brush and we're just going to select a nice color green right here. Boom. Now, if you want to be precise, please use the pen tool. But for tutorial purpose, I'm just using the brush. But if you're really steady with your hands, like I'm pretty sure it's not gonna make the biggest difference. But if you're doing something like really, like really critique and you have to do it perfect, please use the pen tool. It's your best bet. But for now, I'm just gonna use the brush and we're gonna simply just select where the color would be coming from the mouse. Now, if you're doing something like a, you know, I don't know, like uh, Astros or something, maybe you can put color around the ring, the ring of the Astro. I don't know if you guys know what Astro is. It's a gaming headset. Do something like that, maybe. Uh, we're just going to put this on normal, or overlay, excuse me. And we're just going to make another new layer. And we're going to just call the Razor logo in. I think it will look pretty cool. And I know this is, like, really tedious, but I don't know, guys. Like, I, I, I fell in love when I did it the first time. Like, the first ever advertisement design I did for Razor. You know, it was just really fun. It was just really fun, and I had a great, you know, great, you know, how you call it? like great support on it it was just really fun i don't know what is, i don't know what to say i want to show it to you guys and hopefully you guys have some fun with it too and I'm trying to be as precise as possible oh look at that steady hand yes all right and something like this all right boom that'll work and now we're just gonna put this on overlay and now that's gonna have some color and last but not least one more right on this little spot right here and we're gonna put it on overlay, boom. So now we have our color all there. So that's what we have over here as well. You can see that. 
Now you can automatically see there's a big difference right now with how this looks, like the whole like atmosphere of this picture looks and how this one looks. I'm gonna show you a little secret. I'm probably not a secret for a lot of people who know Photoshop, but if you change your exposure and your adjustments layer, this little half circle, we go to exposure and we just mess around with the exposure just a little bit. And the offset is what really gives it that like really weird look, but also a really nice look. If I just put this up just like so, it gives us this nice little like I don't know how to a filter a photo filter almost. I'm gonna just mess around with this. You can get it as dark as you want. Don't go crazy with it, guys. But just keep it like just keep it simple and just really nice looking. I think this is what I'm going for here. I kind of do like this, and we have almost the same over here as well. And you also see here how this has a lot of black. We can can we just do this? Let's see if we can do this. Maybe we can just color it with a nice black brush and maybe like put it on overlay or something. Who knows? Let's see. Or normal. Yeah, we can kind of fix that with just using a normal brush. That'll, that'll be all right. But of course, this is probably because we're using the overlay. If we're probably using normal, it'll probably be a lot better. Yeah. See, if we're using normal, it would not have that really weird, crazy light going on. So that's that's what I'm talking about as well. Make sure you play around with the layer style with the black outline thing. Please do that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep it on the overlay I had it on. So now that we have the exposure, you can see what it looks like. It's a, a complete different look. So now what we can do is add some textures. I'm just using my brush textures. Uh, I like I use all my brush textures. Anything I use texture-wise, I make and they're my brushes. Uh, if you want to purchase them down below, you can. It's for five dollars, and you update for free. Any you know updates that come out come out to your email that you paid with, or the uh, email that you put in before you paid or after you paid. I'm not really sure. Um, we're gonna use this brush. I like this one. It's one of the newer ones. It's a nice little black brush. Uh, brush. Put on overlay. Take an eraser. And just don't really cover your the product with, you know, too much texture. Just put around the texture around the uh, product itself. Otherwise, you're gonna kind of like you know almost misguide the audience to saying, hey, does it actually have this on there? You know, you don't you don't you don't want to misguide anyone. So I'm just gonna apply some textures around the the mouse itself. Now I did actually I, I believe I did put some texture on the mouse, a little subtle texture, not too much, you know. But just keep it as way you want to keep it. I mean, I'm perfectly fine. I'm just gonna give you what I want to say. Um, or I want to do, I'm just going to put some texture around like so. And oop, erase just a little bit. I mean, we can keep that. I mean, that's not too bad. If, it, if it's subtle on the product, I guess we're good. I like that. Maybe overlay or keep it on normal. Let's see. We will go with overlay. All right. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Let's just move this over here all right boom all right sweet so you can add as much text as you want now you can also do maybe maybe we can hit a little light on the top maybe a little simple brush light on the top with a nice soft brush with a white brush maybe that'll work as well let's see I'm not really sure maybe follow the angle of the light where that's coming from that'll work I think that looks good yes I do like this just a little bit I don't know you can work with that you know try to keep wherever the lights coming from if you're making your own light keep it consistent you know don't put too much you know dark in one spot where it won't make any sense like um, that's like coming to like freaking paying attention to your art school and uh you know whatever school you go to high school college whatever that you should pay attention to that because that actually matters it actually looks better and it flows better so that's why i put a light on this uh top left corner because the light is coming from uh the top left corner down to there so you know that's why i did that i think it looks pretty good too i'm not gonna lie i didn't do that over here either so boom a little different right there now, to get the simple little boxes I have here actually really, really simple. By the way, I'm just going to show you. We're going to make a new layer. We're going to simply just use the rectangle here. And we're going to keep a nice little, a good rectangle size. We'll say like that is good enough. And we're just going to fill it in with white. Like I said, uh, Alt Backspace to uh, quick fill your foreground color. Control D to deselect. And well, simply enough, I just put it on overlay. And just little my passy a little bit. And there we go. That's why I got the little simple box. Uh, to get this little um how would you call it a, like a almost like a extractor line or something that just kind of pulls your eyes toward from here like I selected a spot to over here simple enough I just did a small rectangle with a new layer small rectangle and we'll just use alt uh, alt backspace and we're gonna duplicate it by holding alt and moving this layer just moving it somewhere and it'll make a duplicate for us or control J on the uh, the layer itself control T and then to free transform it and we'll just angle it to a way we want to angle it and then simply enough move it to where you think it's good I think that's alright 
go to our M tool, which is our marquee, our rectangle marquee tool, and then simply enough, ha, go over it just like so, and press delete, and boom, we have a nice little, well, I, I don't know what to call it, extract line, I don't really know what to call it at all. So we're just gonna merge the two together with control E, and then you can simply right click horizontal, oop, vertical, or horizontal. Sure, let's just be just, just be really weird. You can see me struggle right now. All right, boom. And then we're just gonna shrink it just a little bit. Like so, and then you can just point to whatever you wanna point to with this little line thing, and then you can put it on an overlay as well. There we go. So, uh, keep your text subtle as well. Don't go crazy, but if you have a certain color scheme you wanna go for, if you're doing black and white, keep it black and white and the color. Black and white, the color. No other crazy mixture of too many colors unless like that has, if you put that color on the product itself, then you can maybe do it. I just feel like I wanna keep this nice little flow going. We're just gonna write designed because we can. Uh, why is that so high? Okay. Boom, put that in there. So I would do something maybe that I'll just like, maybe put a little dash or something. And then uh, keep the color of this little razor icon right here. And just do some little subtle, you know, subtle just like a, just a little accent somewhere. So that's what I would say I would do when it just comes to doing that. And just, you know, apply whatever information as well I have on the product around the logo or, excuse me, around the product itself. Like I've said, like if you're doing ass shows, you know, point to like the ear cuffs and be like comfortable ear cuffs or something like that. Or whatever they put on the details, you know, whatever you're working, whoever you're working with too should give you a lot of details to actually put on the advertisement itself, but I'm just keeping it simple for now. I'm just, I'm just, you know, give you any ideas how I would go about it. And simple, last, last but not least, just applying the name, whatever it is, Razor Orbis. But I'm just gonna say, uh, yeah, Razor. I don't know how to spell Razor Orbis. Just gonna put Razor Project, uh, Project, or Razor Tutorial. Boom. Boom. Just like so. Something like that. I would, call, I would I would probably spell Ouroboros, but I, I didn't want to go back and actually like struggle to spell it out because that's a freaking difficult word. But I just want to show you guys this because if you have a really hard to see, like you can see this is kind of hard to see right now. You can you know you can see Razor tutor, uh, tutorial, but you can't see it too well. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna simply just take a uh, rectangle marquee tool, which is our M shortcut on our keyboard, highlight around this just like so. Go back to our picture. And then simply press Control J to duplicate it. So now we're gonna have a duplicate of that only one selection we just selected. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then simply enough, just apply a little bit of Gaussian Blur, like so. Not too much to disrupt the picture. And then we just erase this edges really quick. You can just kind of see a little bit of a line here. All right, that'll work. Boom. So you can see now it's a lot easier to see, just a little bit. You can see it doesn't disrupt the uh, or disrupt the picture itself, but Guys, that is basically how I created my own uh, Razor advertisement that I did for fun and such. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's kind of on the long side, but I'm trying to explain as much as I can. I want to do more videos like this where kind of like, you know, branding and more stuff you can also do outside of just being in, you know, one spot only. So, of course, give me any other tutorial ideas you have in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like. Follow me on Twitter at SysoHQ. Also, check out my Cellfi for pre-made designs and all that cool stuff. Packs at Cellfi.com slash SysoHQ. Really good place to get some really cool pre-mates and stuff. So please, guys, leave a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for, what is it? It's almost 32.6K subscribers already. Thank you guys so much. Really, I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys later. This is true out. Peace.